Welcome to Planter Garden TV. Giving you a little walk today. In my garden, these are potato right here. Getting ready to harvest, but I'm telling you, they had a hard time because three weeks we didn't see any rain. Look, my um, my peach tree right here. I don't know if you can see, but you know, have a few peach and stuff of it. A lot of it fell off because I don't know if it's the rain situation. But it's still having a, it's still have on a few, as you could see, that I still can harvest, you know, very soon. Still have a few of them. Yeah, still have a few of them. But yeah, like I said, this garden is my garden. But I'm gonna tell you. This year they have struggled. The reason for that is no rain. No rain for three weeks. So, you know, I had problem with worms, then there's no rain. But you know what, they're still standing up. They're still standing up. As you can see, I'm still having peppers here. I still have pepper, you know, eggplant. Still have a few eggplant. This is like okra. You know, they're still standing. All these is like cabbage that the worms was destroying. So I break off the outer leaf and I leave the inner leaf and it's shooting back, it's sprouting back. I did this with the seed, all these. That's what I did. I break off the outer leaf. Yeah, I break off the outer leaf. These, they all struggling. And you know how cabbage love water. But like I said, still keep pushing. These are very big and healthy, as you could see. The worm did not bother them. Because I try to come through my garden almost every day to make sure I ain't see no worm eating them down because I have worked hard to cultivate this area. See I have some pepper still here. This is what you call banana pepper. Banana pepper. These trees I have no fertilizer. Nothing, no fertilizer, no man, no nothing. The only thing I do, I bury like dry grass and dry bush, allow them to rotten, and then I cultivate the area. But I do not use, I do not use fertilizer, period. So right now, this is bearing, have long banana pepper right here. Long banana pepper, although no rain for three weeks, they still blossoming, you know, banana pepper, very tasty and flavored. All these here, same thing. Look how big this is. You know what? I think I'm going to pick this study to go home. I'm gonna pick this and use this one for dinner today. They're really struggling. This is my cucumber right in this little area here. But as you could see, I'm getting cucumber already. The, the, the bearing, which is really good for me. Here goes the tomato. They're ready to be picked. So I'm going to pick these study and take them home with me and allow them to ripe home. Yeah. All these right there. And I have 
right here, my corn, something was walking and picked, cut off my corn heads. See like this, they walk and cut off the head. So I have just these two standing. So what I did, I put, you know, tie plastic bags so they gonna kinda, you know, when it moves, maybe it might run them. And I think it's walking because these two still standing. All these is potato, red potato right here. This is pepper, pepper. You know they haven't, they're getting a hard time, but at least they're still standing and they're still producing. Still, this is what I bring. I fold this, I try to do it every day. Fold this with water and bring it and try to wet all the small plant especially. All these pepper I already wash them. You know I have all kind of beans and all kind of thing. Seed I set down here but like I said no rain so they hardly bossing up. But a few of them still coming. That's pigeon and peas right here. That one is pigeon and peas. That a bean. This is raspberry. Yeah, all these areas I have seeds set, but no rain. You know, this is a plum. This is a dashing. This is an aloe. This is an apple tree. And over here, we have another plum tree. It's looking healthy and nice. I don't know, I believe it might be here next year. But I have my banana tree right here, but it's getting a hard time. So every day or every two days, I try to come and wet them. Because they're really getting a hard time with the sun. Three weeks, no rain, no water, but they're still standing and they're still producing. So that's a blessing. Over here, I have some cucumber here I plant. I plant these before the heat comes on, the sun, you know, it was, when I plant these, I think they rain that day. And after that, they never get any water. And a few days I go, I realize, wait, you got to wet these plants. Or if you don't wet them, you're going to lose them. So that's when I decide to start to bring water and start wetting them. And since I start that, I see it start blossom. So you see? So you can't just plant your vegetables and leave them. You have to take care of them. If it wasn't for the rain, this garden would have looked so big and healthy. But because of the rain, you know, not much going on, but I'm still harvesting. You see, this is Chinese cabbage. I'm gonna use, you see they blossom, they're gonna put seed, so I will be able to use back this seed and plant fresh one. So yeah, so today, I don't know if you wanna watch me pick my tomato, my tomato and my pepper, but I'm gonna pick a few pepper and a few tomato. This one touching the ground, so I'm gonna pick this one. And you gotta be careful because if you're not careful, you could break the limb. Usually I cut it, but I have nothing to cut it. Yeah. Banana pepper shaping just like a banana. Mmm, and it smell awesome. Yeah. Okay. 
So I'm gonna use my cooler right here and pick and I'm gonna put them in my cooler. Pick the tomato. Yeah. Come over here. This one also need to be picked. I'm just picking the one them that's turning. I like to let them basically ripe or almost ripe or start changing colors before I pick them. So instead of me have them home wasting time trying to get them ripe, I leave them on the tree and especially when there's nothing damaging them, yes, I like that. So I leave them as long as possible. But when I see they start turning, I'll come and I'll break them out. Before something come and break them out for me. So this is harvest time for me. Usually I have tomato like in abundance, but like I said, the rain got me this year. So I just pick a few. In a couple of days, they're gonna be ready to eat. Okay. You know, this smelling so strong. So strong because no fertilizer, nothing, just natural. Okay. I'm gonna pick, I think I'm gonna pick another pepper. These pepper trees does get so big and does bear so much. And I'm not sure if you're seeing, but if you see there's a lot of small peppers on the trees at this moment. A lot of small peppers. A lot of them. And I know if it was raining, it would have been something different. So for now, should I pick this? No, I'm gonna leave that late, get ripe a little. Let me go and check this one. This one, should I pick you or should I leave you? Okay. This one, I really didn't ready to pick it, but this one. I guess it did ready. So, all right. Two pepper, six tomatoes. Thank you for joining me and watching my garden. There will be more videos, so please like, subscribe, and share. And let's hope that some rain come and I can show you the result from these pepper tree, the tomatoes, the cucumber, the cabbage. This is a main tree. And you know, the more I pick, the more it, the more it push out leaf. And it's strong as ever. So please like and share. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.